Well, let me put this on vibrate uh, so I won't mess up y'all. We give all praises to Yahweh, Bashan, Yahushan, Bashan, the Clock of Dash. The Lord answered the prophets that rule well. So I've tasted the drugs of the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth and sincerity. Come. Oh, yeah, shalom. Uh, yeah, we're out here again. Preach the downfall of America, the inevitable downfall of America. He's just like all the other empires that Daniel saw, or the, the vision that Daniel interpreted from Nebuchadnezzar, those empires fell. And the last empire that we're living in right now is America. And America's going to have its fall eventually, just like Rome did. But it was gradualism the way it fell. It didn't fall, you know, to the Lord it was, it's going to be in one night, but to us it's like it's taking years and years. You know, sometimes we get the thoughts like, damn, it's even going to be in our generation. Regardless of that, though, if it being our generation or not, we know this place will have to eventually fall. And we're going to, today we're going to start by Isaiah 47. Um, and we're just going to, you know, we're going to go from there. Okay. All right, so there's a lot of chapters that we can, that we go over, like uh, the famous one is 2nd Andrew 15, 16. And this was Isaiah 47. We also go into Revelation 18. And all these these chapters, they prophesy the downfall of Babylon as we know it. Well, America as we know it. We know that it's the spiritual Babylon or spiritual Egypt. Because Egypt means house of bondage. And based on what we know, we're still in bondage. So we can, you know. Yeah. Isaiah 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. That's right. Yeah, so right now, right now America is known as what? The melting pot. You said thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. America is what? It's basically the ruling power of this world. You know, it's the ruling power. You got the, you know, they got the military, the currency. For instance, when you go to another country or island, now, when that currency gets translated, it gets translated to more, but what really means is less. Like Nigeria, if you have like five thousand dollars US, you're a millionaire in Nigeria. But that's it's really not it's really not a lot though. It's really five thousand American. We know the real currency is gold and silver. Because it has value to it, or trading, like a cattle for a bottle of wine. You know, that's real money. Or real value. But here it says sitting in the dust. Dust in the scriptures. It's really like a form of uh, a, low a low estate. It's a form of mourning. Like they will pour dust over their heads, spiritually and you know sometimes physically or metaphorically. They will put dust in their head, heads. They will rent their clothing. You know when something bad is going to happen. That's what's going to happen to America. America's going to be sitting in the dust. It's going to start with the economy, which we see we see it now going on. Okay, they want to start. They want to shut down these farms where there ain't going to be no more food. Not gonna be any more supply. What else are they gonna do? Um, yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, I did a sit down video today on uh, how the uh, what's that? Uh, the elites. That's one of the elites' agenda. It's the core starvation by not. It's called uh, rewildering. Wildering, which means uh, real wilding. Wildy, which means uh, for, the, for the for the grass to grow without being taken care of, right? Yeah. So they're gonna have a whole bunch of land. They're not gonna take care of. They're not gonna farm no more. It's just gonna grow wild. Where where it's gonna uh, what's that? What's that word? Uh, uh, Lyme disease. Yeah. Lyme disease. They're gonna, they're gonna try to. Uh, where there's going to be ticks all over the land where if you get bit by these ticks it will cause Lyme disease right? Okay. Irritation of the skin so Big Pharma will come in and sell drugs right? To the people to cure Lyme disease which they created by not taking care of the farmland right? These people are very sinister these people are very sinister and they plan not to uh, take care of wherever there's grass in America, they're going to, at parks or whatever, they're not going to 
take care of that at all. They want to grow wild grass and, and, you know, and let the weeds grow where ticks would come in and adders would come in, uh, poisonous snakes would come in also. Yep. Right? So I did a sit down video on it. It was very informative. All right? So damn, these, these people are truly the damn devil that the Bible speaks of. That's right. Yep. They said, uh, well, they were some uh, wiser than Daniel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are wiser than Daniel. Also because um, he's good with his traffic, his, the drug supply. And when we say drugs, we're not, we're not just talking illegal, like uh, cocaine or crack, but the pharmaceutical, you know, CVS, the urgent care, all these drugs is uh, it, it's helping the economy. It helps it helps their economy. You get you you're not feeling well, you know, you have a sore throat or whatever. What you do, you go to CVS or Walgreens, and you look for something that you know that soothes your throat. You know, but. It doesn't really fix the problem. It just it just prevents it uh, temporarily. Unlike the herbs that the Lord gave us, He said that um, you know you're not supposed to pour His herbs in Psalm 38 and 4. That's right. Um, yeah, we can go back to uh, Isaiah 47. Yeah, because uh, when you take like Nyquil and these different uh, cough medicine, and also when you take that, it makes you more sick. It's full of aqua and it's full of yellow five and FD, uh, uh, 40, and all these damn chemicals. Because me and my wife, we went to uh, Rite Aid. We went to Rite Aid, right? And the adult medicine got all different types of chemi chemicals. Now, we went to the children's sh section. They don't have too much chemicals on a cough syrup and so on. So we went to, uh, uh, we saw a cough medicine where it, uh, it, it, it extract the mucus from your chest. It's called Maddie, Maddie's Cough Medicine, right? So when you read the ingredients of Maddie's Cough Medicine, they have natural honey, mm. they have different uh, leaf extracts, ginger. right? It has ginger in it. Man, I took that Maddie's the next day. I was like, yo, my chest yeah. is right. They had natural ingredients in there. They had natural yeah. ingredients, right? So probably Esau knows about that, right? Unlike Jake, they will go for the NyQuil or whatever. They won't read the back of it. So yeah. when you read Maddie's cough medicine, cough syrup is nothing but a natural ingredient. Yeah. And when we wrote, when we uh, read Maddie's uh, cough medicine, I think the lady indicated that she was getting type of cough syrups and so on, but they wasn't working, right? Huh? For her daughter. For her daughter. So she decided to go ahead and make a, a natural remedy. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I woke up the next morning, I was all right. Yeah. All Man, all praises. Yeah, because we have with these, um, these pharmaceutical drugs, like uh, NyQuil or whatever, and you take it. It just puts your ass asleep. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and it doesn't really cure the problem. But when you get these natural remedies, like um, natural honey, good honey, uh, lemon, lemon tea is good. Mm -hmm. Um, aloe, the bitter aloe, not the one loaded with sugar, it knocks it out. Same thing with acne, like you uh, take the aloe plant and rub it on your face with that acne, it, it gets rid of it just like that. Probably like in a day or two. Huh. Or uh, turmeric, turmeric's good for your face, you know. Um, and then, you know, like y'all always say, you know, it starts from the inside. You take care of the inside, you know, you're not consuming a lot of sugar, you know, or these different things that don't agree with your blood type, you won't really get acne like that, you know. Even when, you know, you even through puberty, like when you're eating right, you're not going to get it as much as someone who's not taking care of their health. You can see these kids that's eating these high school lunches, right, They're, their faces be looking bad. Because they consume these nasty foods that these schools are giving to them. These gel, this gel food. Processed. Yeah, nasty pizza. You know, what else? Uh, these nasty chicken sandwiches with this nasty bread. They don't even taste good. You can, you can make yourself a way better meal at home. Way better meal. You know, get yourself some rice, you know, potatoes, beans, uh, millet, uh, vegetables, and you're good to go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you saw my Yeah, you can read verse 2 and 3. Isaiah 47. 2. Take the millstones and grind meal. Uncover the locks. 
and make bare the land, uncover the thigh, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. Yeah, so the Lord is not going to come down from his throne physically and meet you. He's going to meet you through his prophecies. But it said in uh, Surah 39 verse 1, it says we have to be occupied in prophecies. So when they're talking about launching a, a nuclear strike or a nuclear war, we're very attentive to that. He's in Isaiah 62 and 6, said that we're the watchmen. Okay, but um, let, let's, let me ask something. Yeah, right? yeah. Because the neck, the nakedness is being uncovered. Yeah. So the wickedness of America, the nakedness is being uncovered, which the shame is being seen, right? For instance, right with that thing going on in uh, Ukraine. Yeah. Now Biden just announced that he needs another three hundred million to what to fund this Ukraine war with Russia. And Putin, Vladimir Putin, coming out said, "Yeah, we look like we really have a war against America." Yes. Yes. So Ukraine said, "Whatever." Or Russia said, "Whatever money you supply, whatever, you know, we, we gonna win this war anyway. We gonna win this in, uh, war anyway, because our tactics, right, is more greater than yours." So, yo, Putin, yo, yo Putin, he's getting down, man. And he hates America with a trolley passion. And Putin knows what's going on in America. A lot of these prime ministers and presidents in the different countries, they, they, know, they know that America is not doing well. They know America's not doing well. And now Democrats, a, a dude from the Senate just made an announcement that said, man, a lot of, the reason why these borders is open to these immigrants is for they can get the brown people vote. They could get the brown people vote. Wow. That's what they're doing. They flooded America with immigrants just to get the brown people vote. So it's not even, it's never genuine, you know? It's never genuine. Never. It's always an agenda. Yeah. It's always an agenda. It's like when they supposedly freed the slaves, it was only for the war, you know? And also because they knew that if they quote unquote, you know, freed us, it would help the economy because we'll be working, mm -hmm. you know? We'll be working for these uh, companies, and obviously we'll get paid less. So we're, we're only helping their agenda, really and truly. You know, it's That's not right. really for us. Nothing goes to us. Like these, uh, these other nations, when they set up businesses, their money goes to their own businesses. Yeah. It circulates in their economy. Yeah, and the money goes the to their country. Yeah, it does. And who, who like these, like American best? Who's mostly going there? Negroes, Negroes and Hispanic. So these East Indians is uh, 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 allocating this money and sending it to their people, right? If Negroes and Latinos was a band together, we could stop these uh, other nations just like that. Yep. Just like the bodegas, just like the like the stores in Baltimore hood. Who who runs them? Arab. Yep. The chicken boxes. Who run that? The Arabs. Who's who's giving their money? These Negroes. These Negroes is giving their uh, money to the Arabs and to the Chinese, right? Black people don't have no common sense. Yo, we got to stop supporting these people. Why we don't come with our own chicken box stores? But when we do have our stores, there's no courtesy. Negroes got an attitude. <laughs> you yeah. know, they got attitudes. You want to support black businesses, but yeah, they got an attitude. Make it. You make it Caribbean Especially the Jamaicans, they got attitudes. When yeah. you want to give your money to them, but they got an attitude. You got something to say, young man? I want to ask a question. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, sir. Are you brothers Hebrew Israelites? Yes, yes, sir. yes, sir. Is the term Jew and Hebrew Israelite interchangeable? Yes, yeah, interchangeable. Is... Yeah, interchangeable. Yeah. The word Jew is also a byword, though, that was given to the, uh, the tribe from Judah to Levi. It's the word the Jews from Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Those, those were the uh, tribes that were around at the time that... That's Jesus where was the, around. Where Jesus was around. When Jesus was around, there was the uh, three tribes: Judah, yep. Benjamin, and Levi. Yep, so they were known right? as Jews. The Simeon from all the way to Issachar, they they was already expelled out that land. Okay, so now for Benjamin, Levi, and Judah, they call everybody Israelite Jew at that time. So like he was saying, it was a byword at that time, right? What the true terminology is Hebrew Israelite. Yes. Yeah, you can say Hebrew Israelite. So yeah. I am a Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, you know, you know, I am not a Jew. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, Jude. Jude comes I mean, from the word. Yeah. Jude comes from the word Judah. Yeah. I understand that, so but in Judah. this society that we're living in, mm -hmm. yeah. See, that really kind of rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, I know Hebrew I'm a Hebrew like, Israelite. Yeah, yeah. I know that. Oh, awesome. But the Jew stuff. Ah. <laughs> Give me Isaiah 14 verse two. Give I me mean, it's been you know captured. Um, and that's why I really don't like the deal in religion. Are you confusing with the Jew, the Jewish rats? Are you confusing with that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what, you, that's what you're mistaken. The word ish. Jew, the, word the word ish. The word ish. Kind of like it's not quite. The I know. word ish in there just means pertaining to. So pertaining they're not to. the real Jews. Okay. You know, of the, yeah, so um, those Jewish, they want to be, they, they stole your identity. I understand that. Gotcha. I'm just saying the words, you know, that we use dealing with our people. I mean, it's just uh, confused. And then, mm -hmm. you know, the smoke weed, take pills, whatever. It's mm -hmm. just confusing. So I'm just trying to get clear on it. You okay. know, hey. Mm -hmm. So that's all. <laughs> I just, <laughs> just had a question. <laughs> I got you. I'm clear. I'm clear. Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Isaiah 14, 2. The people shall take them and bring them to their place. So, Jeremiah 14, 2. Oh, so my bad. Yeah, my bad. Jeremiah 14, 2. Yep. Jeremiah 14, 2, Judah mourning. Let's say Judah mourning. And the gates there of language. Are we mourning as a people? We languishing. There's murder in our neighborhoods, right? Our people is on, on drugs heavily, right? There's prostitution in our neighborhoods, right? Uh, the young is very uh, disrespectful to the elderly. So our people is mourning. We don't have a leader. Like back in the days, like Marcus Garvey and Marcus Max. Uh, Martin Luther King. We don't have a leader, so we mourn it as a people. Read up. Judah mourn in the case of language. They are black onto the ground. They are what? They are black onto the ground. Right? Yeah. So the color of the Jews are what? So-called black people. And black also means, it means mourning. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. And the crowd of Jerusalem is going up. And the crowd of Jerusalem is going up. Yeah. So we crying as a nation, right? But we, didn't, we don't have no help. So we need our Lord and Savior to come and redeem us from what we're going through as a nation. Right. And our Lord and Savior is coming from the loins of these African Americans that has been destroyed. Lost. Repeat that again? I'm just saying. I ain't hear you. Repeat it. Our Lord and our Savior is coming from us. From us. It was in us. For, for he, us. For us. He's going to be born right here. Because you be suffering under the condition. Give me Luke 168. Yes, sir. Give me Luke 168. Luke 168. I think he's also talking about how the Lord um, came from the tribe of Judah. Yeah, the Lord came from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. Give me that. Yes, sir. Uh, that I agree. <laughs> I agree with that. First? And it don't uh, have to be a man because I have a granddaughter. Let's go to Hebrew. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be a man. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry. It could be my baby, my beautiful, my friend. Uh, yeah, it could yeah, be her. Yeah, yeah, All she needs is the right stuff. Tell my boy, you good? Nah, listen. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know it's just, I just haven't read in a while. I think it's 13. No, it's 12. 12, okay. It might be. Yeah, I just Oh my god. Yeah. It's always it's always it's always a woman that does it. Oh god it. He was Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, my bad. 14. All right, yeah, Hebrews seven fourteen. But it's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Yeah, it's evident that our what? Lord sprang out of Judah. It's evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Judah is what? Short, Jew. Yeah. Right. The word Judah, the Hebrew is Yahweh. Yeah. Right. Praise God. Go ahead. Give thanks to God. Go ahead. Which tribe Moses uh, spake nothing concerning priesthood? Uh huh. That's right. Give me a Luke one sixty eight. Okay. Can I take a picture of this? You're going to yeah, take a picture, sure. bro. Yeah, so we need a redeemer. Man. We need a redeemer. Go 
Sorry. Luke 168. Yeah, go ahead. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. I said, bless what? Be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. He had visited and redeemed his people. Go ahead. Uh, okay. And he raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. So he raised up a horn of salvation. Right? So we need salvation. And when Yahawashah, because his real name is Yahawashah, but the world called him Jesus, he's going to come and redeem the one third of these people right here. Yeah. He's not going to come and redeem everybody. He's not going to come and save everybody as the Christian churches teach us. Right? Oh, you could be, you could be, uh, you could love another man. Two men lying together, two women lying together, you know, Jesus, did they come? He's not going to come and save those people. Right? You give me that real quick, First Corinthians 6, verse 9. And he's not going to save the other nations. He's going to save the 12 tribes of Israel, the one third out of these people. First Corinthians 6 and 9. Yeah, go ahead. Know you not that the righteous should not inherit the kingdom of God? Give me that in the GNT. Okay. Give me that in the GNT. All right? Give me that in the GNT. Okay. Now we're going back to Luke. <laughs> But I'm happy, my brother, that you know that you're a Hebrew Israelite. All, all, all praises, yes, all sir. praises. All right, yes, I'm happy about that. Yes, sir. Now, I have another question. All right, let me um, bring this real quick, and I'll let you speak. First Corinthians 6 and 9. Yeah, go ahead. In the GNT. Go ahead. Surely you know that the wicked should not possess God's kingdom. The wicked would not possess God's kingdom. Go ahead. Do not fool yourselves. People who are immoral or who worship idols. Who worship idols. Go ahead. Or are adulterers of, or homosexual perverts. Or homosexual what? Perverts. Go ahead. Oh, let me, let me uh, get the next verse. Yep. But in these Christian churches, they say that Jesus is going to save everybody. Yep. That's not what we read in the Bible. Yep. You got more on that? Verse 10. Or who steal, or or are gritty, or are drunkards, or who slander others, or are thieves, none of these shall possess God's kingdom. And none of you is going to possess God's kingdom. None of them. All right? That's why we come out here and say, repent, repent. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Go, young man. You got it. So... Of all that has been said, that was an appropriate scripture. Mm -hmm. The Caucasian white race is against God and yes. they're against us. Yes. Because right. we are God. We are an extension right. of who He is. Right. The Caucasian That's white well race That's very well said. is against God. That's right. They're contrary. I got, hey, I got, man. A, I got a scripture. You know what the word Caucasian means? <laughs> what I know is learn to treat the devil. Murderer, raper, robber, yeah. kidnapper, child right. trafficker. Ah. That's right. They are the devil. Right? The word Caucasian comes from the word uh, Caucasus, which means Caucasian mountains. Yes, sir. Because they dwell in the mountains. Yes, sir. Between uh, the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea. And right. may I say something about the scripture? Because I do read. Mm -hmm. In the Bible, it says after 400 years, I will come. In the book of Genesis, somewhere. Okay. Wow, so okay. And I will judge. Is it Exodus? Yeah, that's what my Exodus. Yeah, I will judge. And what? This, well, this is what time it is. Mm -hmm. Who is he? The truth. That's who he is. Mm -hmm. And when he come, yeah, you king. Yeah, give me uh, number. Has been weighed in the balance. Hold on a second, brother. Found give me number twenty-four, real quick. Yeah. Give me number twenty-four. I think starting at verse twenty-one. Are you trying to go by the uh, Ham? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Hamlet. Yes, sir. Um, can I have you do the prayer when Hamlet is facing the Yes, sir. Yeah, verse, um, verse 18 and 20. Mm -hmm. that, I don't know if that's the one where you want to start at. Uh, yeah, start at 18. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, start at 17. Numbers 24 and 17. Go ahead. Well, let me highlight this. Yep. I shall see him, but not now. I shall what? I shall see him, but not now. Uh -huh. I shall behold him, but not nigh. Mm -hmm. There shall come a star out of Jacob. Star out of Jacob. Who's the star that's going to come out of Jacob, young man? The original people of God. No, the star. Who's the star of Jacob? Because Jacob's name was changed to Israel, right? Yes, sir. Give me uh, Revelation 22, verse 16. I'm going to give you the answer. Yes, sir. Revelation 22, verse 16. Revelation 22, 16. Yeah, go ahead. This is I, the star, young man. Go ahead. I, uh, mm -hmm. I, Yahweh have sent as my As the word known as Jesus Christ, but his Hebrew name is Yahweh 
go ahead. I, Yahweh, have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. Uh huh. I am the root and the offspring of David. I'm the root and the offspring of David. Go ahead. And a bright and morning star. And bright and morning star. So as the world called him Christ, that's the star. That's the star that will come out of Jacob. All right, go back to uh, Numbers 24. Then you give me uh, Exodus 32, verse 15. Okay. Sure. All right, first, uh, I'm going to start uh, from the top. Numbers 24, 17. I shall see him, but not nigh, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. Uh -huh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. There's going to be a star out of Jacob. We just gave you the answer. Go ahead. And a scepter shall rise out of Israel. A scepter is going to rise out of Israel. Go ahead. It shall smite the corners of Moab. It's going to smite the corner of the Moab, the Chinese. And destroy all the children of Sheph. Sheph, go ahead. And Edom shall be possession. And Edom, which is who? The so-called white man. You know that, my brother? That uh, their biblical name is Edom in the Bible? The so-called white races? I heard that in the rap song, yeah. Edomites. Oh, yeah? Okay. I heard that when okay. the rapper said that. So now you know that Edomites are the so-called white people when you read it in the Bible. Which bridge you change? Which bridge you change? We can get into Esau, it after. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Esau is the individual, right? Edom Edomites. is the nation. Edomites yeah. are the nation. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. And, uh... We are the original people from the beginning, sir. And what? They are the devil. They are against God. And after 400 <laughs> years of training, brother, that's why we are niggas. And AKA, African Americans. Mm -hmm. 400 years. The Bible says, train up a child. The way she it, grow. That's right. That's right. So we've been trained for 450 years to be niggas. What have they been trained to be in our 400 years? Of turning so into cool niggas? Right yeah. Oh, nice. What have they been trained to do? 450 years of us being being niggas. What has been that trend? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Revelation chapter 6. Yeah. yeah. But um, Leah, let's finish this, brother. Right, yeah, go ahead. It says, yeah. yeah. There shall come a star. Yeah, we are guys, and then we're going to get that from the scripture, too. Go ahead. There yes, shall come sir. a star out of Jacob, and a scepter shall rise out of Israel. It shall smite the corners of Moab. Uh huh. Destroy all the children of Sheph. Uh huh. And Edom shall be a possession. And Edom's going to be our possession. Yep. Right? You know, Edom, so called white man, is going to serve us in the kingdom. Right? They're going to they be our slaves. Go ahead. Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. They said what? Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies. Representation of the so called white man, because they dwell in what? The so called white man dwell in Mount Seir. Yep. They are the original cavemen, by the way. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I thought she was going to ask him what they wanted in church today. Uh, not, <laughs> it, right now. not right now. <laughs> and Israel shall do valiantly. And Israel, which is us, the Negroes, Latino, and the natives, right? We're going to do valiantly. Go ahead. Out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion. Uh huh. And shall destroy him that remained of the city. Mm. Like, right? Out That's of Jacob right. shall right. come he that shall have dominion. Verse 20. And when he looked on Amlak. Amlak is who? Or the so called Jewish. Jewish race that stole your identity. Go ahead. Absolutely. He took up his parable and said, Amlek was the first of the nations. So Amlek was the first of the nation. Go ahead. That his latter end shall be that he should perish forever. That he going what? Perish he forever. Perish forever. Yes, you got another, another question, my brother? Uh, well, I just give me Psalm 32, verse 6. In the, in the book of, you say Exodus, when God say come. Um, all of that is what he read is true, but. Uh, not without blood. Right. So, not without what? Blood. So blood. blood. Blood of the lamb? Blood. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right now, people strategize and plan on how to what? Get rid of us. Well, yes. Yeah. Which is true. Yeah. So, what kind of what, what are they using? What kind of weapon are they using to get rid of us? All of it, man. Give me, TV, give me, give me one or two. Social media, yeah, single bit true. chicken. <laughs> <laughs> hey, All they, of it. Hey, everyone watching this movie called... Um, <laughs> Have you watched a movie called They Clone Tyrone? Oh, I heard that so That's a good movie. That's a good movie. I didn't movie, see that. Yeah, check it out. It's a lot of it's a message in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you look into the Woody Lynch letter, how he strategized on oh, psychological well, warfare on, on every level, man. Yeah. Yeah. And Hurst. Yeah. And Hurst, you got yes. biological warfare yeah. on us. Our sexual organs. Oh, my God. Our oh, tongues. So, skip your man. Oh, you know about man. that, right, bro? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's everything. And what? Our children. Yeah. Our children. Our children. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> I mean, damn. Give me a uh, first uh, Thessalonians chapter two. The seventh you know edition. Nobody. Yeah. 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 Hold up for a minute. Hold up for a minute. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, but see, because I've been reading, I've been studying, I've been praying. That's good, bro. And uh, uh, yeah, even though I walk in the valley of shadow, shadow of death, death, I will fear no evil. Oh man, that's right, bro. Psalm yeah. twenty-three. Go ahead. What you got? Yes, sir. Second Thessalonians uh, two and three. Yeah, listen to this, brother. Go ahead. Let no man deceive you by any means. Let no man deceive you by any means. Go ahead. For that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. A falling away. We fell as a people first. Right? We started with Vespasian, the mission in Titus. We fell away as a people first. Yeah. Go ahead. And that man of sin be revealed. And a man of sin. Who's the man of sin being revealed? The so-called white man, right? So Starting with the Rothschilds, the Bilderbergers, the Eifenheimers, Chase, right? And the list goes on. Go ahead. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And the son of perdition. He's the son of perdition. Go ahead. Who, uh, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God. Yeah, he opposed and what? And exalted himself. And he exalted himself. He think he's God, right, brother? Yes, sir. And we are the true God, by the way. Go ahead. And exalted himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sit in the temple of God. He sit in the temple of God. Go ahead. Showing himself that he is God. That he is God. You yeah. think he's God? I got a scripture. Go his money's on a dollar bill. I mean, his face is on a dollar bill, right? You got George Washington on the, uh, on the money, Benjamin Franklin on a hundred dollar bill, and so on. So he opposed himself as God, right? Judgment. Even right. some of these movies, right? Judgment. Even some of these movies, right? He's always the star in some of these movies. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what's a good movie that? Uh, like oh, one. like Long Ranger. You know, Long Ranger was played by a white man, but it's actually based on a black man, Bass Reeve. Oh, <laughs> I see another movie with him in it though. Oh, that was good. What's that? Uh, Jay Z produced, produced it. Oh, the Book of Clarence? No. You talking about that? No, the Book of Clarence. The movie. Oh, yeah. Western. Where I heard the man named Bass, the black guy. Oh, Bass Reed. Bass Reed. Okay, okay. He was a black guy. Uh, but Lone Ranger was supposed to be a brother, not a white man. But we grew up on Lone Ranger, didn't we? Yes, sir. As played as a white man. He was playing as a white man. But he was supposed to have been black. Yes, sir. <laughs> all, all, all of it is to disease and corrupt God's people. And the Bible said, the Quran said, you will not find one of them would. Mm. Because I'm going to do everything. Holy Quran say, I'm going to come in the straight path. Mm -hmm. You'll survive the Musa King? Yeah, I'm going to be right there with him. <laughs> with the Muslims. <laughs> and the Quran said, yeah, you won't get them all except my purified ones. All right. So, uh, but I understand, man. We are, man. But you know the Bible is over the Quran. You know that. So that's not my place to say. I'm just now saying. Now we know. The wisdom that I have extracted from it is applicable to where I'm at right now, what uh -huh. I'm looking at. And all I can say is, oh, Lord, what the hell? <laughs> that's all I got. Brother, you eat pork? <laughs> I know you don't eat pork, yeah, bro. Man. Yeah. <laughs> you eat shrimp? You eat shrimp? No, sir. Crabs? No, sir. That's good, bro. And I don't eat none of that stuff because what? I don't like it messing up my face. Yeah, give me, uh, give All me. All the slime and the sauce. Hold on, bro. Hold on. Give me First Corinthians uh, yeah. three verse sixteen. Yes, sir. Give me First Corinthians three verse sixteen. You gotta take care of your temple. Oh, right? absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So you just happened to see us and you just stopped by? No, man, I just rolled past. I said, oh, I have a question oh, about okay. the, uh, yeah. is those terms interchangeable? Can okay. Israelite and Jew? Yes, yeah, interchangeable. Yeah, go ahead. What you got? Yeah, can I say something more personal though? No, hold on a second. Give me 1 Corinthians 3.16. <laughs> hold on, hold on, bro. 1 Corinthians 3.16. Yeah, go ahead. Know ye not, know ye not that you are the temple of God. That you are the temple of God. Go ahead. And that the spirit of God dwelling in you. Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defile the temple, because our brothers and sisters, they love abominable food. Especially that black woman, man. Especially that black woman, boy. She loved her crafty crab. She loved the crap the crafty crab. That's it, brother. She loved her red lobster. Yeah. But right? God, our people love their pork. God came our to people say love them. catfish. God came to say them, brother. Yeah. They've been trained. We have been trained. I've been trained. In the to eat that abominable food. 
Yeah. That's right, bro. I've been trying to do that. Give me Zechariah 13, verse 8. And two-thirds of our people got to be destroyed. Two-thirds of our people got to be destroyed. Because well, they love lawlessness. Death. Right? They just to choose, um, you? So yeah. they're going to choose death rather than life through their actions. That's right. Yeah. Zechariah 13 and 8. Yeah, go ahead. It shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Yeah, two parts of that shall cut off and die. Go ahead. But the third shall be left therein. And a third. Only one third of people going to be saved. Yes, sir. But two two thirds of our people going to be destroyed, man. Yes, sir. Thus says the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. The whole, like I said, the Holy Kibon says what? You're going to get all of them except uh -huh. the purified. So what you want to say, bro? Uh, bro? What you want to say? You said you want to say something on a personal level. You say you want to say something oh. on a personal level. Oh, I asked my granddaughter, my granddaughter eight. Mm -hmm. I said, do you know what the color purple, purple, purplish, uh, greenish, orange? She said, yeah. I said, what, what is it? She said, it's kind of like, but it's not quite. Yes. Right. Then I say. That was a good answer. Right. Right. And so I say. I S H ish is Jewish. Yeah. Pertaining to. Kind of like. Yeah. But not quite. Yes. I'm looking at what she just said. Mm -hmm. Kind of like. But not on, quite. Um, the pastor shall go on Ash. Mm -hmm. yeah. From my baby. Okay. That's why I'm saying, oh, okay. So what I wanted to say on personal note is, yeah, I don't, because this society where we live in, that how we live in, the name Jew. Yeah, ask Charles Barkley with Jew, Jewish, what all that shit is. Yeah, his ass would be in a cool cardboard box. That's right. Cool. His ass would be in a cardboard box begging for corpse. Uh, so when you say Jewish, Jew, I don't, I don't really like it. That's mm -hmm. personally. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I am the original right, man. I am from the beginning. That's right. That's right. Now. And that's why I really stay. I just do read. I read books. I read. Mm -hmm. But I stay away from religion because the Caucasian race has conquered religion. That's yeah, because right. you got to realize the Bible, the Bible is not by religion. But it's about histories, laws, statutes, and commandments. That's and what the Bible is about. Prophecy. And prophecy. Prophecy. You can't forget about prophecy. That's right. Prophecy. That's right, bro. And what? He has conquered religion. That's right. So, yeah, that's why the young people, they don't want to hear none of that. They're worried about your Jesus Christ. There we go, my brother. These are all different religions that's out there. Right? They're all these different religions. Yeah, they need to come. And the most high is not dealing with none of them, bro. Huh? None of them. Most high is not dealing with none of that. Right? Oh, um, yeah, it's foolishness in the name of the Lord. Yeah, give me 1 Corinthians 8, verse 5. <laughs> <laughs> it's foolishness, man. I read some of his books. Uh, Dr. Malachi York. Uh, mm -hmm. the I, knew I think I think Malachi York was in the Pelophilia, right, son? He was in the Pelophilia. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 8, verse 5. 1 Corinthians 8, verse 5. For though there be that are um, for though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or on earth, mm -hmm. as there be gods, many lords, many. But to us there is one God, the to Father. To us there is only one God, brother. Yes, sir. So we enter a monotheism doctrine, not polytheism. Okay. Go ahead, read on. But to us, there is uh, but one God, the Father. But to us, there's only one God. Go ahead. The Father of whom are all things. The Father who? Of whom are all things. All things. Go ahead. And we in him. Uh-huh. And one Lord, Yahashem HaShiach. One Lord, our Lord and Savior. Go ahead. By whom are all things, and we by him. That's right. That's it. You got any other question, bro? Oh, no, that's good, bro. I understand. Bring it up, bro. I understand. <laughs> and that's the only thing I'm saying is for myself. Personal. This is my personal stuff. Uh-huh. Everything I know about anything. Yeah, my eight-year-old granddaughter, yeah, she gonna know everything about anything. I do. So, yes, sir. Uh, I'm blessed and highly thankful. I just wanted to yeah, say something. Give me that of the uh, mouse or something. Yes, or something. No, 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 not that one. This is about the um, we uh, be like these little children. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. This is about the white man Malachi York. Yes. Yeah. He was criminal, his criminal charges, child sexual abuse. We don't know a lot of them? Uh, sir. Uh, sir, this is Malachi York. Oh, Malachi sir, York. I know that. I already know. I know. Already know about yeah, that. But bring it out for the camera. Bring it out for the camera. Child sexual abuse. Say child sexual. What? Child sexual abuse. Uh huh. Rape. Rape. Racketeering. Racketeering. Conspiracy. Uh huh. And fraud. And fraud. 
So he's a fraud, right? Yeah, that's why most of us are dealing with him, right? And see, and we'll get with that, brother. Yeah, man. That's what the Caucasian white race has done to all the elders. Mm -hmm. Slander them, lie on them, kill them, take them down because they know they what. Yeah. Whoever it is, whenever it's coming, whoever the Lord, whenever it's coming through them, the Bible say, kill them all. Kill all boys, baby. I'm glad this brother said that. Give me uh, Kill all you know, boy babies. You know what What's happening you? in the city of Baltimore? See, that's happening all over the country. Uh, raise it, raise it. Okay. Every night, song, all the night. Yeah. Every yeah, it state is, is filled up yeah. with us. Yeah. 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 Every night. The Bible says well, kill payback is coming back. Because uh, payback well, is coming saying, back. We ain't going to have to worry about that. Payback is coming back. Hell all yes. Justice cannot sleep forever. That's right. Yeah, and when the truth comes, man right is here. God is here. Mm -hmm. When the truth comes, oh man, the truth shall set you free. That's, That's right. what the Bible says. John 8 32, my brother. John 8 32. Psalms 37. The truth shall set you free. Psalms 37 7. Yeah, go ahead. Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. It said, Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom. Which, who are the Edomites? The Nobody Edomites. You remember who I told you who to eat in my child? Who are they? That's right. My brother's on point. Go ahead. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it. In the day it. of Jerusalem, raise it, raise it. Go ahead. Even to the foundation thereof. Come on. Who wants to load the next verse? Yep. Uh, eight, O daughter of Babylon. O daughter of Babylon. Who are to be destroyed. Who are to be destroyed. Yes. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as uh -huh. thou hast served us. Uh-huh. Happy shall be that take it thy little ones against the stones. Yeah, we're going to take their little babies and we're going to bash them against yeah. the stone. My bad. It's, ah! it's like you said, dash it against the stone. Dash yeah. against the stone. Yeah, they did our children. You know, when they was making gator boots, you know, they, they use our black little children and put them in a pond, right? Put them in a pond so when the gator bite the uh, little black children, that's when it bashed the alligator in the head. Yeah. And not just uh, to make car, alligator boots. They was making alligator uh, belts, yes, pants, but they was using our little children as bait. I got a scripture. Yeah, I got a scripture I want to bring out. It's Isaiah, Isaiah fifty-one. Well, I'm listening. To it. Isaiah fifty-one, verse twenty-two to twenty-three. Thus saith the Lord thy God. And our God has pleaded the cause of people. Uh -huh. Behold, I have taken out of thy cup, the, the, thy hand, the cup of trembling. The cup of, go ahead. Even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Even the dregs of the cup of the fury, because we drank that cup. What cup was that? Oppression, slavery, we was raped, we was robbed, and we drank that cup. Go ahead. Thou shalt no more drink it again. But the Lord said, we ain't gonna drink that cup again. Go ahead. Verse 23, but I'll put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. I will put it in the hand that afflicted us. The so-called white man going to drink that cup also. Go ahead. Which has said to thy soul, bow down that we may go over. Uh-huh. And that has laid thy body as the ground and as a street uh -huh. to them that went over. That's right. So the so-called white man is going to drink that cup. All right? What's happened to us, the curses that's upon us, give me Deuteronomy 30, yeah, verse 7. I got it. Yeah. It's going to be trans transitioned to the so-called white man. So what we've been through, they're going to get it double for what they've been through. For what they did to us, my brother. Give me that real quick. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Yeah, go ahead. The Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. So the Lord thy God will put all these curses that is on us now, he's going to put it upon our enemies. Go ahead. And on them that hate thee. And them that hate thee. Go ahead. Which persecuted thee. That's right. So payback, right? They say payback is a bitch, right? I hate it. Uh, Give yes, me Jeremiah 30 verse 16. Uh, yes, sir. I understand all Give me Revelation blood. 13 verse 9. That's a lot of blood. A lot of blood. That's a lot of blood. 35 and 5. Yeah. Uh, Give me Malachi 1, verse 3. Only brother yeah, which which one is the first thing. Give me the one I call for. Yeah, Jeremiah 30. Yeah. That's why they got all of that, because what? They not just rolling no blood. Because they live by the sword. It's a lot of blood. They live by yeah, it's a lot of blood. Give me Jeremiah 30, verse 16. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Go ahead. It says, therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured. So the people that devour with us, go ahead. Shall be devoured. Shall be devoured. Go ahead. And all our adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. Our adversaries, the one that's uh, selling chicken boxes, the one that's selling uh, backwood, uh, Black and Mild, them Arabs, they're going to get it too. Because yeah. you heard of the Saharan uh, slave trade? 
when the yes, Arabs sir. sold us into slavery? Yes, sir. Them bastards don't get it too. They're not our friends. Yes, sir. All right. You can learn something too, bro. You can learn something. Because you ain't learn nothing in them wacky Christian churches. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, read. Now, he, he's looking by. You know, he, you know he's going to yeah, hear something. Fake ass Martin Luther King. But then, read on. And all thy adversaries, every one of them shall go into captivity. All of them go into captivity. Go ahead. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And the, the ones that spoil us, they're going to be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. That's right. Uh, next one's right. Revelation. Yeah, Revelation 13, verse 9 and 10. Payback. Payback is coming. All right? Revelation 13 and 9. Go ahead. If any man have an ear, let him hear. If any man has an ear, let him hear. He go that, he that lead into captivity shall he, go into captivity. He that lead into captivity, what? Shall go into captivity. Yes. Go ahead. He that killed with the sword. He must, that killed with the sword, go ahead. Must be killed with the sword. And must be killed with the sword. Yeah. Can you explain that, my brother? Explain that little verse right there. Well, I just said it, man. What? <laughs> Blood spilled in the street, man. Give me a... Uh, what? You said Malachi Oh, one. since he Blood mentioned blood. Ezekiel 35? Ezekiel 35? Numbers, Numbers 35, verse 15, since oh. he mentioned blood. Oh, about the land can only be cleansed. Yeah, he mentioned blood, so let's get that scripture. This is the verse 33. 33 verse 15, 16? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at it. Go ahead. Uh, numbers 35, 33 to 34. Yeah, go ahead. It says, so you should, damn. Let me start from 31. The funny thing is, you ain't gonna learn this, none of this in church, man. Because these pastors are full of crap, man. They're not gonna tell the Negro man, the Latino man, who they real nationality in church. They ain't gonna teach you this in church, man. Oh, that's they ain't gonna teach the, the Negro is Judah. Right? They ain't gonna teach you that. Because the pastor's out for gang. The pastor wants your money. The pastor wants your tights. And you going out, Leaving church with no knowledge. Leave out there with a tight suit. Read on. C3. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Brother yeah. Point. Oh, this is Brother Point. Oh, this Brother Point. That's called a gag order. I never hear nobody come up and say that. I never Brothers on point. Mr. T.D. Jakes. I like T.D. Jakes. <laughs> I like to listen to him, man, because some T.D. Snakes? He could, yeah. T.D. Snakes? The one that had party with Pete Diddy? What? Well, he, he said swallow. Yeah, I was about to say yeah. swallow. Have you ever been it's swallowed? Been swallowed. <laughs> yeah, read on, read on. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, peace and blessings. All right, oh, read on. Shreds, shreds. All right, numbers 35 <laughs> and 31. Yeah, go ahead. Moreover, you shall take no satisf satisfaction for the life of a murderer, uh -huh. which is guilty of death. Which is what? Guilty of death, but uh -huh. he shall surely be put to death. And you shall take no satisfaction for him that has fled to the city of his refuge. That he should come again to dwell on the land. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. Oh. Into the death of the priest. Uh huh. So you should not pollute the land wherein you, you are. You should not pollute the land, my brother. You should not pollute the land where you are. Go ahead. For blood is defiled the land. So blood defiled the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein. Uh huh. By the blood of him that shed it. Yeah, so we need the so called white man's blood to cleanse the land. We need his blood. Let me get a CQ 35. Because he shed a lot of blood on his land. The natives. The Negroes, he shed a lot of blood on his land, oh. yes, right? And the only way we get reparation back, if his blood be shed. We don't want his money, we don't want his apology, we want his blood to be shed. Thus says the Lord. Ezekiel 35 and five. Yeah, go ahead. Because thou had, has had a perpetual hatred uh -huh. and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. He shed the blood of the children of Israel, go ahead. By the force of the swore in the time of their calamity uh -huh. and the time that their iniquity had an end. Uh -huh. Therefore, as I live, say the Lord, I will prepare thee unto blood. I will prepare thee unto blood. Go ahead. And blood shall pursue thee. And blood shall pursue thee. Sif, thou hast not hated blood. Because so-called white men don't like, you know, since you don't like blood. I mean, since you what? You love. Uh, since you love blood. Yeah. You ever went to dinner with a so-called white man? Hell no. Never. <laughs> you have an idea? You have an idea how you like his steak? No, sir. You don't have an idea how... Oh, medium red with blood dripping. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Yeah. Even his burgers got to be medium red. They got to have that pink in there. Yeah. How we like our burgers, brother? How we... I don't, I don't eat burgers. But I'm just saying, like, how... I understand. I understand. How our people like burgers and steak? How they like it? Well done. They want well, to thank you, my brother. Yes, sir. Yeah. We like it well done. Right? Yeah, see? But the so-called white man like it medium rare or rare. He just sizzled a burger, put a little sizzle, 
on east side, and he did it just like that. Yeah. That's how you know he's an eater fighter. Yeah, like uh, sushi too. It's not huh? cooked. Sushi, not cooked. sushi, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're supposed to be getting sushi. It's not, not cooked. cooked. Yeah, All right. I think, uh, well, uh, I'm trying to see how I can I get to the young people saying because they agree with me. I tell them straight up. Dude, white people and black people better say, so hell no. Okay. <laughs> let's, start, let's start with that. See, the young people know the difference. They know, man, eh, no, hell no. But how can, see, I want to connect with you, yo. The God you believe in, that you worship and pray to, yeah, the Caucasian white race hates me. <laughs> I mean, I just want to give it to them. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so they can, oh, oh yeah. So that's all. Uh, because you mentioned something earlier. Was it uh, 501? C3. 501 C3. Yeah, 501 C3. Which, one, which was started by a president, Linda B. Johnson, was a gag order to shut down and shut the churches and follow a certain protocol. A pastor had like to teach a, a certain protocol, right? To what? To the congregation. They cannot teach that we are the biblical and the true Israelites. Yeah. All right? Which is a gag order. Right? Or oh, they, they, oh, they, they, they could teach that Jesus Christ died for everybody, which is not true. Jesus Christ did not die for everybody. Jesus Christ only died for the nation of Israel. All right? Michael, and that's a fact. Yeah. Michael and we read that in Numbers bad. 24. Okay. All right, go ahead. Micah 311. The heads thereof judge for reward. It said the heads of them, which are the pastors, they judge... For what? For reward. reward. Go ahead. And the priests there are teach for hire. And the priests of them teach for hire. Yes, they teach for, you got to pay your tithes today. You sow your roll, you sow, what's that? Sow your roll, you oats. And you're going to get a blessing. Right? Give me Jeremiah 23. And the Mosai is going to destroy these pastors because they wicked. And they down with the government. The agents. And they agents, my brother. The agents. The agents. Yep. Yeah. Woe, woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep the of my Lord pasture. The Lord said, woe be unto the pastors that what? That destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Uh -huh. the Lord. Is it? Yeah, go ahead. Therefore, we will start over. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, say the Lord. Therefore, does say the Lord God of Israel, it's the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away, and have not visited them. Behold, I'll visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord, and I'll gather the remnant of my flock. <laughs> Verse 3 And I'll gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them, and will bring them again to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. So they're going to be fruitful and what? And increase. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's kind of. Verse 3 is talking about, you know, bringing in the scattered abroad. It says, uh -huh. I gather the remnant of my flock out of all the countries where I have driven them. You know, and uh, the pastors aren't helping with that. They're not helping bring in a flock, mm -hmm. you know, from these different areas. There should yes. be pastors in every country telling our people, you are the uh, nation of Israel. It's in James chapter 1, verse 1, it said that we're scattered abroad. The Israelites are scattered abroad. Same thing in Isaiah 11. The yep. Same yes. thing in Isaiah chapter 11. He says he's going to go and he's going to gather our people from these different places like Paphros, Cush. There's Israelites in Nigeria. There's Israelites in Nigeria, Russia, Japan. We're everywhere, you know. Yes, sir. Because the Lord said that um, to what be fruitful and multiply. So that's why no matter what condition we in, like in Exodus chapter one, when we was being afflicted by the Egyptians, we were still being fruitful and multiplied, even through our oppression. Yes, no matter what, you can't you can't break us. Even during the slavery times, we were still we were still strong. That's why they had us in the plantations because they couldn't do the work themselves. Oh, well, we are directly descended from God. That's no right. doubt about that. Yeah. I'm not confused one bit about it. Now, what I'm going to call myself, you see. Where's the Well, mm, <laughs> I, I got to do some research. Because this but I like, look, I am the original man I'm from the beginning. I like to roll with that. Mm -hmm. yeah, work with that. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, um, I like that. This is a book, uh, Babylon, from Babylon to Timbuktu. I don't know if you got this book, but you can order it through Bob's Amazon. Windsor. All right? Okay. This is uh, Rudolph R. Windsor, Babylon Rudolph. from Timbuktu. This is page 84. Babylon. In the year 65 B.C., 
the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jew state. With great slaughter during the period of the military governors of the Palestine, many outrageous and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from the Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jew slaves. Wow. Yep. Woo! Yes, yes, products. Sir. Man. Yes, sir. And that fulfilled prophecy in Deuteronomy 28, verse 64. And God, right? that comes right back to what? The people are enemy of God, man. And they are enemy of God's people. I mean, what else do we need to say? What else we need to say? Um, um, you see, and that's why... Yeah. You have any other question, my brother? No, sir. I'm good. Good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. All right. But yeah, that's why I brought up service. If I want to be safe in this society, what I have to do? Come around, say good words to y'all. Mm -hmm. Keep my mouth shut. Mm -hmm. And that's what. Yeah. The, the, the scripture does say it's good to listen more than we speak. Yes, sir. All right. Give me Ecclesiastes 5, verse 1. Yes, sir. Yeah. Well, we had a good dialogue, man. It was oh, nice. What's your name, my brother? <laughs> oh, all right, original man of God. Yeah. I already got to say no more. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's your what's your government name? Bro? My name's Kevin. Kevin? Yes. Sir. Yeah, it was nice to meet you, Kevin. Uh, thank you, sir. What's your yeah, name? I'm Brother Bacar. Brother Bacar. Bacar. That has meaning? Uh, uh, chosen. Chosen. Yeah, chosen. Yeah. Who chose you? God. <laughs> John chapter 15. Uh, this is Brother Ip. This is Brother Ip. Government, government is Drake. Government is Drake. When the truth comes. Huh? When the truth comes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, but again, uh, uh, God needs soldiers. Ready to fight. That's right. That's right. Kill. All that stuff they've been saying about they doing over there, charges, groups, yes, and all yes, that. Yes, when they stop calling us terrorists. Oh, yes. Hey. Freedom of speech gonna be taken away. Hey. Freedom of speech gonna be taken away, my brother. Get mail in DC just passed a new oh. crime bill with all the carjackings and shootings and run the county, beat the county. In the whole DC area, she just passed a new crime bill. Who? Uh, Marion Bowser. That's oh, her yeah, name. She's the, that. she's the mayor. Yes. Um, Right now, I'm trying to get my hands on you know. <laughs> but, uh, Bubba, that's not good for the children of Israel. Yes, yes, yes. Yo, Kev, nice talking to you, brother. Yes, sir, Take you. care. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was cool. That was it. <laughs> I outro. mean, it was a nice dialogue with brother Kevin, man. Yep. Yo, he know he's a Hebrew Israelite. Why? Because there's men like us all over the world preaching his gospel. Yeah. Right? Uh, gospel means good news, right? This gospel is mean, it also is bad news to others, but it's good news to us, right? Give me Isaiah 60, uh, 61, 1 to 3, and we'll end it with that. We'll end it with that. So that's one thing about here, about your house church. You don't know what you're going to expect, you don't yeah. know what you're going to encounter, yeah. right? But, you know, and Wakitaki Christians, they already got a program laid out. Yeah. They got the hymns, they got they got introduction, they got the hymns, they got so on, so on. They got the singing, the, you know, then the pastor come in, so on. Always a tight. Right? You don't know what you want to expect when you come out here. Yeah. yeah. Right? See a lot of church goons today. Yeah, a lot of church goons. Yeah. Oh, that's the time to get out over it. Yeah. Isaiah 61, verse 1 to 3. Yeah, go ahead. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. It's upon us. Go ahead. He's the Lord had anointed me to preach the good tidings unto the meek. Uh -huh. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. He has sent to us, what? To bind the brokenhearted. The brother like, you know, he, maybe he was brokenhearted. He had a question, and we answered what? Through the scriptures, yeah. right?
Go ahead. To proclaim liberty to the captives. To proclaim liberty to the captives. Go ahead. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Uh huh. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. Uh huh. To comfort, comfort all that mourn. And to comfort those all who mourn. Right? The word is comforting. When we first came to the truth, it was so comforting. Yo, me and my wife was listening to this word for hours and hours. No, my black guys had to go to work the next morning. Yeah. But it was so comforting. It makes sense. Right? And preach to the brokenhearted, man, to the captain. Because this word is the comfort, according to John 14. Yep. Right? Which is the Holy Spirit. All right. So that's our lesson. You know, we give all praises to Yahweh, 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 America, a bar, Edomites, a bar, the flaming fairies, and that's it. Two thirds to a bar. I'm gonna get five for that. A bar, it's a bar. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, they want to know. Yeah, they want to know. Okay, yep. Yeah, it should stop right away.